Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing The Legend of Dragoon, which happens to be one of my favorite PlayStation games. Now I just, I, I, I wish that they would, uh, remaster this game, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case anytime soon. I just want to lay it out there during cutscenes like this. I will not be talking so that way you guys can hear everything that goes on. Great commander, this way. So this is her. Today. Is this really necessary? It is His Majesty, Emperor Dole's command, to take that girl into custody. Who is she? That is not your concern. had a nice voice you know talking thing going on there too bad they didn't continue on with that the, throughout the whole game sadly it's only during the cutscenes Chapter 1, Sardinian War. I'm just going to lay it out there. This first video, I'm not really going to be... I won't reply to what they're saying. I'm going to let you guys, you know, read that. But if you want me to actually read what's being said on, like, on screen, like right now, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to do that for the rest of the playthroughs.
guys will get your asses kicked by me if you try and fight me. That doesn't even look like a dragon. It looks like an oversized praying mantis. Yeah, saving you by hiding you behind a rock that is like a pebble to the dragon. Sure. Because that, you know, that'll, that'll, that'll hide you for sure. Well, that's true. Yeah, they were having their way with your village. You know, for being a PlayStation 1 game, it does not have that bad graphics at all. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be our first little combat scene. Dart wasn't even that far away from the village. Like, how could he not see the smoke from all the burned buildings? What? I mean, he must be blind, because he's especially asking them what are they doing there when he can clearly see what they're doing. Nah, they just look like soldiers for no reason. I love when they are uh, overconfident. I know I'm gonna miss some of these additions that you gotta do for combat. And if you guys are new to this channel or new to this game, you'll see why. Like, 
think it's this way. No, it's not. I hate when it's sideways like that, because that throws me off completely. But yeah, you see that? It's all action time. Which does not make it easy for combat. Thankfully, this first edition is not that bad. Now, I don't know everything about this game, even though I played it in, you know, years ago. So if I end up going past something without getting something, can you guys let me know in the comments? Because I'm going to read every single comment. I mean, since I've already played the game, so I don't really care for any spoilers. But, uh, yeah. And I know for a fact I will miss um, Stardust, because I... I really don't focus on getting Stardust. Even though I should. Because I know if you get all the Stardust, you end up getting the item to face off against the special boss, but I, like I said, I'm not really that worried about it. They don't care about the truce. Yeah? If you did, you would have been able to protect them and save them. Stop feeling sorry for himself. Okay. I don't need to save here right now, but I'm going to anyways. Yeah, this is all your fault, Dart. comes our little mini boss. They threw her in prison. Okay. 
Hay que vivir. Look at the little wimp. Yeah, why not? Yes. Double flash. Whoa. Here. One. Here. That's two. Oh, I'm counting because the uh when they when they do power up moves like that, it's for three turns. And if you're unsure, you can actually tell by uh by guarding. See that right there? Three damage. Now watch the next time he attacks it's not gonna do three damage. Or did. Oh well. It might be different for this guy. Usually it's three turns. There. That was rude. that I'm not going to use until I master double slash. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you go into this house that's over here, where the children are at, it'll force them. It'll force the children out of the house. I, it really doesn't do anything. But if you come over here, one of these headstones. That ah, okay. So in front of this one right here, you'll find a stardust. This dude right here is the one that taught you how to fight. So how he let the village get this bad, I, I don't know. Because if he taught if he taught dirt, then you definitely you definitely should have been strong enough to protect the village. Actually, it looks comfortable. Uh, 
Uh, he puts you in your place. <laughs> and he takes it out on his own men. Why those men still choose to follow him, I don't know. That's just bizarre. Seven potions already? Holy oh, hell. I'll get two of those. No, I know how to use the items. It's pretty self explanatory, to be honest. A lot of people would say that fighting by that merchant to grind your levels would be a good idea. It, it, it really isn't. Because the monsters in this in that area it costs you about ten you know, ten GP. Oh shit. Um Yeah, it costs you about ten GP for a healing potion. And the monsters in that area back there will only, you know, per kill, it will only get you about six or seven GP. I don't remember what currency this game uses. I should kill that damn bird. Pissing me off. There, now I can heal. Yeah, so I would just recommend getting out of this area as soon as you can. Getting to a Helena Prison. Because in the Helena Prison, it would be the best place for you to, to uh, farm for money. And, you know, and levels, actually, because the guards there give you so much more money than the monsters in this area. And you can level up your uh, additions. I would say when you get to the prison to basically grind out in the main area until you can one-shot them. If you do that, you'll be in a much better place. Okay. Damage, which is pretty funny. Yes. Mm. One more double team like that, and I'll be level three, I think. Or am I level three already? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. First step first, going down here. Gotta grab this chest. And you go up. Go all the way over. Go up. No, 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 go down. So you can get this last chest in this area. Another burnout, which I don't really like using these magic items, to be honest. I only use them when I need to. Sweet. <laughs> oh, 
Bam. These things are gonna be one hit for sure. Yes. Yeah. I like when your speed is faster than those things and you just kill them before they can attack you again. We'll do level three. Okay, I was that. This way. Isn't that it? Thought it was such a badass as a kid. You better. It's your fault she's on there anyways. And you're always gonna find this screen no matter what. Oh wow, I actually got out without fighting. Oh, that's surprising. I'm gonna fight. Okay. <laughs> oh god, why? Oh, I need a little heal anyways. Oops. When you level up, I try to not waste my healing potions. I tend to say try to save my healing potions until the boss fights. So I'll go into a random battle like this, kill off all enemies but one, and then heal up with guard. That way I don't waste any potions. I found it's the best way to do it. It's a pretty effective prison. Only one way off of it if you don't want to swim in. Giving you money, so who cares what they do? How can that guard not see you?
Okay, dude. Well then. We don't trust you, apparently. What type of a spear is that? It's like a golf club. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, farm these guys so I can one-shot them. Probably be about two levels. Okay, so I can buy items from him now? Perfect. I don't think I have anything to buy though. Although, I do have a stupid charm thing to get rid of. Okay, so I got seven. Oh, here we go. Perfect. I like to keep at least six of these healing potions and three angel's prayer at all times. If I have more healing potions, then I can use, uh, that, that tells me I can use one anytime I want to. Save point. Good, let me see how far. Four more until level two, that's nice. Anyways, that's, I'm gonna leave this episode here for today. I will see you all in the next video. And if you're new, uh, you know, please just hit that thumbs up on the video. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Also, uh, subscribe if you're new. And I'm thinking about doing another video of this tomorrow. I'm not 100% certain yet, though. If not tomorrow, then I'll probably do it Thursday. Thursday or Friday. And I will see you all in my next video. Have a good day.